Hey girl, we are back. We got the length, the, what? Well, not the length, but the inches. The inches are back. And I'm so happy because I kind of missed the long hair. Um, I did a, I don't want to say like a tutorial, but it was kind of like a tutorial. It's on my Instagram reels. So go to my page. I think the cover of it is like a pink bag because I try to stick to my theme on my page. But um, yeah, it's a pink bag. Just click on it and you guys will see me um, just do it was kind of like a day thing because I took my braids down all of that but check it out if y'all want to get like the details of the hair I guess I'll leave the details on the screen or something but um, just go to my Instagram and follow me while you're there because I would love to have you over there too so anyway I told you guys that I wanted to test out some new lip oils I've purchased quite a few I purchased five I started using one and the other four, I really just wanted to do like a first impression with you guys on camera. So we're about to open these, test them out. And I wanted to do a lip oil video because I've noticed lip oils are a thing now. Like not a lot of people are, well, I take that back. Not a lot of brands are advertising lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, stuff like that. It's mostly lip oils. So um, yeah, and I pulled out a couple of, one, a couple of the lip oils that are my favorites out of my collection so we're gonna talk about those and I also have a lip product that I recently purchased I don't think it's a lip oil but we'll talk about it um, but it's also become a favorite of mine as well so get you a snack get you a drink get comfortable and let's get into it All right, girl, I just ran to get one more lip oil so that we can go over it in today's video. It's one that has SPF in it, and I feel like it is definitely an essential for the summertime. Um, so we're going to talk about that a little later on. But first, let's open these up. So the first one I have is House Labs, and they have three other shades, but I wanted to get the clear one because... I wanted to kind of play it safe because you know some lip oils that have color to it it kind of gives a little tint to the lips and sometimes I don't want a tint on the lips so this is how she looks and right now I have on um, one of the um, glosses from Fenty I think is the original one I just had a little bit of it on the lips so I'm gonna take it off um, just take it take it take it off okay and we are going to swatch this one and just see how it feels on the lips because I'm very, ooh, that, okay, no scent, but the applicator is pretty big, nice size dope applicator, and you guys know what clear looks like. I really just want to see how it feels on the lips, so y'all will know if you were looking for, okay, right off the bat, you don't get a ton of uh, I'm already messing up the applicator because I still had a little bit it's fine I don't even care but right off the bat you don't get a lot of product on the applicator even though it's big it's just so like I feel more brush than anything <laughs> does that even make sense I feel more of the the sponge than anything on the lips but I'm applying it we're gonna put it on I don't know if you guys have tried the Dior lip oil, which I have in front of me as well, but I feel like this applicator is just as big as a Dior, but you don't get as much product on the applicator, but it's definitely not thick, really smooth and creamy and buttery, and it's not too glossy either. Some lip oils are really, really, really glossy, which I have a few in front of me that we will go over, <laughs> but this one... Mm, let me get y'all a little close. This one is not super duper glossy. And it doesn't feel super glossy on the lips. Like, does that even make sense? It just feels like a, I don't know, like a really toned down, lightweight lip oil. Does that make sense? But I like it though. So if you were kind of on the fence of the House Lab lip oils and you're wanting something that's not scented, something that's not super duper glossy, I think you will like this one because it's super comfortable, it's not sticky, and it almost feels like I don't have anything on the lips, but at the same time, my lips are moisturized. So 
Okay, this one's cute. Let's rate these. Yeah, let's rate these. So that one's done. I'm gonna take it off. I really wanna start out with the ones that are not color. Oh, I did open this one up too. Okay, Road. This is Hailey Bieber's um, cosmetic line. This is the Peptide Lip Treatment. And okay, so it's like, a, like it says, it's a lip treatment, but the few times that I've, I've worn it, it literally feels like a lip oil light. Okay, so if you don't know the difference of the different the, the difference between a lip oil and a lip gloss, in my opinion, lip glosses are thicker and more shinier on the lips and more juicy and I don't know, but some lip oils that they make nowadays are just like a lip gloss. So I don't know if that kind of I don't know if I explained it well right there, but just in my opinion, I feel like lip oils are not as glossy or as thick as a lip gloss, but you know, some of them feel and look just like a lip gloss. But this one is very, very smooth and mm, I can't explain it, but it's good. And okay, I got the water, yeah, the watermelon scent. Y'all, when I say, this is like putting on a lip smacker lip gloss the smell the taste because it does have a sweet taste to it and i think these are already like well i don't know maybe by the time this video goes up they restock but these sold out so quickly but i like it so i've i've been wearing this one and also another one so all in all i've tried two of the five lip oils that i'm sharing today and then the other ones I will get into, but y'all, mm, it's like I have the watermelon lip smacker on. And if y'all remember, if y'all remember the watermelon lip smacker, this is it. And it tastes just like it. Like it has that really sweet taste to it. But you can see here, it's definitely more shiny than the House Labs. Maybe because I just didn't get as much product out when I was putting this on. I dipped it in there twice, but it's just, it feels so, so good on the lips. And this is something that I would literally wear every day. So I would definitely throw this in my purse and go. Um, yeah, and it's clear by the way, I didn't show y'all that, but it does come out uh, clear. It's kind of like a um, milky color, but it's clear on the lips. And the packaging has the logo written in pink. It might, okay, there we go. It's like a really light baby pink, real cute. But it's kind of hard to read because it's so light on the packaging, but cute little squeeze tube um, by Road. So set that one to the side, but yeah, been loving, loving, loving this one. I don't know why I put it back in the box because I've been using it, I guess, for the video. <laughs> but now that we are on to the ones that I've already used, I wanna, Go ahead and talk about Clarins. This is the first one that I tried out all of the one, out of all the ones that I purchased recently. And I love, love, love this lip oil. It took me a while to try it out. I know they kind of um, changed it up. So I don't know if it's anything like the original one, but the packaging changed. So it's um, in this type of packaging. I think the other one was kind of like a square tube I think but so when I got this all the shades were sold out this was the only one that they had I really wanted to get the yellow one I think it's called honey because I honestly didn't want like a um y'all can see how much I've been using it though I've been using the mess out of this stuff okay it's been really good but I really didn't want a lip oil this color because I know stuff like this just makes my lips look pinker than I want them to be but y'all, when I say <laughs> uh, this has been everything, it is everything and it smells delicious. It smells so good. So with this one, it almost reminds me of um, the feeling of it. Kind of reminds me of the house labs. But I will say, since I've been wearing this one, my lips are moisturized for a good minute like I don't have to go in and reapply this because my lips they feel I don't know 
they just have a nice it's, they're just moisturized throughout the day I don't have to go in with anything else when I use this and I like that um, but you can see here I don't know if y'all can see it right now but my lips are starting to change a little like you can see that they're getting a little bit darker from the color but it's not that bad it's really not that bad I think I like the smell of this more than anything but I also like the fact that my lips are hydrated and moisturized throughout the day I don't have to go in with a lip gloss or another lip balm this by itself is good sometimes I do like to overdo it and go in with another little layer just to give me that super duper duper glossy look but yeah really cute and I will say the smell like you would think it has that sweet taste but it doesn't but as I'm talking right now I can taste it it's not sweet but I can taste like I can taste the way it smells which isn't bad like it smells so good um so yeah the Clarins lip oil I think they call it the lip yeah the lip comfort oil in the shade raspberry which is bomb 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 so now let's go into the ones that are like super duper new besides the house labs so these are the ones that i haven't opened haven't used so we're gonna test these out swatch them smell them and all of that stuff so the first one is fenty i remember showing you guys this one in a get ready with me i was gonna use it in that video but then i forgot i had it in front of me so i figured i'd go ahead and save it for this video so this is the fenty skin cherry treat conditioning lip oil now i will say in that get ready with me I opened this and smelled it and when I say girl this literally smells like a Jolly Rancher it smells delicious so this is the cute little tube um they don't have yeah it's just called cherry treat it's the conditioning lip oil let me take this off y'all I love the Clarins you have to try it off if you haven't already I want to get the yellow one now that I know that I like it and the fact that I use that a lot, I definitely do see myself purchasing another one. But the yellow, the honey one, I definitely want to get that one if it's still in stock. I don't know why. I guess because ever since the Dior lip oil went viral, everybody was purchasing lip oils. So I'm wondering if that's why the Clarins was out of stock. Because for like for the longest, this, not a lot of people talked about the Clarins. But ever since Dior... I'm pretty sure TikTok made Dior sell out, but this is the one I have from Dior. Anyway, getting off topic, let's go back to the Fenty Skin and then we will talk about Dior in a few minutes. But Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Lip Oil. Uh, it smells delicious. Okay, first time putting it on the lips. Let's see how it feels. Oh, the applicator is huge huge doe foot applicator very similar to the dior and the clarins and the house labs but the house labs applicator is a little bit smaller than this one and also the one from clarins but let's go ahead and put it on so i just have this much on it and we are about to test it out oh 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 this is glossy like did y'all see do you see that is some glossy stuff girl mm. oh my gosh i wish y'all can smell this stuff through the freaking screen this is good like oh so so juicy and glossy y'all see i am here for this one let me see if it has a taste all right so no it doesn't have a taste it just smells really good so so far the only one that has like a real taste is the one from road but this feels so good and so juicy on the lips like this could be a gloss this is what i mean by some of the like lip oils are very similar to lip glosses in my opinion um because how they feel like they feel super juicy and they look super glossy like this this is gonna be another like throw it in the purse product because this stuff i like her mm -hmm. i like it okay on to the last new one that i have in front of me and then we can talk about all the other ones 
Okay, so I'm actually really excited for this next one. This is from Rim Beauty. Y'all, this is my first purchase from this brand. And I know a lot of people really like the products, but I never purchased anything from them. I don't know why, but I guess a lot of the stuff just didn't really stand out. But when I saw lip oils were coming out, I hopped on it. This is in the shade Lavender Kiss. And this is very different. Okay, so it's called the Essential Drip Lip Oil. This is very different, y'all. Let me show you. Okay, so look how cute this is. Cute color, cute little, you know, cute little tube. But y'all, look at this. Look at the applicator. The doe foot applicator has a silver ball. And then when you flip it over, it just looks normal right there. But look at that. So I'm assuming this is supposed to make it feel cold on the lips. Because you know some of the, pro like some products, like skincare products that have like that gold ball on it, like rollers and stuff, it feels cold on the face. So I'm assuming this is going to feel really cold on the lips. So let's see. Yes. Ooh. Wait a minute. This doesn't really smell like lavender, but it kind of smells like soap to me, like a fresh soap. I don't know. But this ball is kind of, okay. I don't think I'm a fan of how it feels because it almost feels like I didn't put on anything on my lips. Let me put a little bit more. But yeah, the ball is pretty satisfying. Like it feels really nice on the lips. This will feel really good. Like if, you, if you've been outside all day. Yeah, this is very thin. Really, really, really thin. But it is hydrating on the lips. So I like it. So if you are not into the, you know, thick, glossy lip oils, I think you will like this one and the one from House Labs because they don't feel thick on the lips. They, like they don't feel like a gloss, you know? Okay. But yeah, I think putting this on, like say if you're out at the pool or something and you're really hot, just putting this on the lips is going to feel so, so good because of the, the applicator. But yeah. All right, let's rank these and then we can talk about my favorites. Okay, so I would say my least favorite one out of all five of these that I just tried would have to be, mm. okay, I'm gonna say House Labs. And then, okay, so that's gonna be five. Four would be Rim Beauty because it's kind of similar to House Labs, but I like the applicator, I like the packaging, and I also like the smell of it because it has that really, um, it's not sweet, but it, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it smells like soap, like a nice fresh bar soap. And it's kind of satisfying, so yeah. But these are probably my least two favorites because these other ones are, <laughs> they're so good. Okay, so, this is where it's gonna get hard, y'all, because I love, love, love these. I would say, mm, I think I'm gonna put Fenty as number one, Rode as number two, and then Clarins as number three. So we're gonna go in order. My favorite one out of all five, Fenty Skin. Next would be the Rode Conditioning Lip Oil. And I'm rating these because Fenty Skin is super glossy, which I love because I love a lip gloss. It's comfortable, it's not sticky, and it smells really, really good. And I also like the color of it. It doesn't look red on the lips, but it gives a nice hint of color. Kind of like the gloss bombs, if you've tried the gloss bombs, um, but it's not too red. So definitely enjoy this one. And then Rode, I like it because of the smell and it also tastes sweet, just like the lip smacker, the watermelon lip smacker. And I also like that it comes in a, um, a squeeze tube. And then Clarins. So since I just tried out the Fenty Skin, cause this one was gonna be number one. Actually, no, this was gonna be number two. Rode was gonna be number one. <laughs> but since I've already tried out Fenty Skin, 
this is definitely better than the Clarins. So number three, and then Rem Beauty. If you like a really thin lip oil that doesn't really have much of a scent, but it feels nice and you know comfortable on the lips, then you would like this one. So that one, and then the last one is House Labs. They have a pink one, an orange one, and I think a red one, if you're wanting like a color to this. But yeah, that's that. Let's go into the favorites. Now these next two are the ones that have SPF in them and they have easily become my favorites. So this one is from Kula. It's the Kula Lip Lux Hydrating Oil. And then this one from K-Skin is called the Sun Care um, Isle Lip Balm with SPF 30. Which one? Yeah, this also has SPF 30 and it's organic. So between the two, this one is more of a lip gloss. It's very similar to the Summer Fridays lip balm. Do they call it the lip balm or the lip gloss? I don't know, but it's very similar to Summer Fridays and it literally smells just like a vanilla cupcake. And it also has a similar tip as the Summer Fridays. Y'all been using the mess out of this stuff. I probably need to get another one, but it's clear. You can see right there. And it's a little thicker on the lips than some lip oils, but it's not as thick as, um, let's see. Yeah, it's not as thick as Fenty Skin or the one from Clarins, but it's not as thin as the ones from House Labs and um, Rim Beauty, but kind of feels like the one from Road, to be honest. Kind of feels like this on the lips. But it's very juicy, smells really good, very comfortable, and it has SPF 30 in it. So this is a great staple for this time of the year. Just throw it in your beach bag or your purse. Um, so that way you can have this, you know, if you're out in the sun all day. And then this one right here from Kula, this one is very, um, I don't want to say watery on the lips, but it's very, very, very thin. So... Here's a swatch of it right there. Just so y'all can kind of see the swatch because I already have stuff on my lips. I really don't, well, let me just put it on the lips too. I'll just wipe this off. While we're here, might as well. But the applicator is not like a sponge. It's kind of like a um, rubber applicator. But once you put it on and then rub your lips together, it's almost like you put water on your lips. That's just how thin it is but it's really, really hydrating as well. So I really enjoy both of these. So if you're looking for a lip oil that has SPF in it, then I would consider getting one of these. So if you are looking for something that's more scented, a little thicker on the lips, I think you will like this. This one is just really, really watery on the lips, but it doesn't, you know, your lips are not gonna dry out. So yeah, just to kind of give you guys a comparison between the two if you're wanting to buy either the uh, either the Kula one or the K-Skin. Um, and this is Winnie Harlow's brand, by the way. So those are the two um, lip oils that I love that have SPF in them. I don't really know of any other lip oils that have SPF. So if you guys know of any, let me know. Especially if they're good, let me know. Okay, now... My favorite lip oil that I wear mostly at, I don't know why, but I like to put this on at night. I don't know why. I guess because I just have it in my bathroom in the drawer that has all my skincare. But this is the Jizu Honey. Did I say that right? Jizu or Gaizu? I've heard it's, I've heard it both ways. I'm gonna say Jizu, <laughs> but it's the Honey Infused Lip Oil. And this is very, 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 juicy on the lips you guys i don't know I, I just love it i love the stuff and it literally smells like honey on the lips i don't know i just put this on after doing my skincare sometimes i put on my um lip sleeping mask the nars orgasm lip sleeping mask but then other times when i don't want to use that i just reach i just reach for this i don't know why i reach for a lip oil at night but like I said, it's there, so I reach for it. But I like it. She's cute, glossy, and she smells really good. If you like honey scented, honey scented things, then I'm pretty sure you will like this. And the packaging is really cute. This is glass, and then the top is like a baby pink. Super, super cute. 
All right, so I have another favorite lip oil, but I couldn't find it. And the brand is called Amy Cole. It's a black owned brand. And they have the best, best tinted lip oil. Well, they call it a lip oil, but it literally feels like, if you guys have tried the MAC Cosmetics lip glass, lip glosses, it feels like that and looks like that on the lips. To me, it does. And I like those glosses. So if you're into a lip oil that's a little sticky, it's not like super duper sticky, but it's not like any of these. So if you're wanting something a little thicker, I really wish I could find it. I don't know where I put it. I looked in all my purses. I looked everywhere, girl. Um, but I will leave it in the description as well as everything else that I'm talking about. But if you're wanting a thicker lip oil that has a little tint to it because it is like a pretty brown mauvey looking color but when you put it on the lips it's not like it it's clear on the lips but it kind of gives you a little bit of a tint um but yeah if you're wanting something like that then i would recommend that one for you guys and then the dior lip oil that blew up on the internet honestly y'all i don't see the hype in this but i will say i do like it <laughs> it's um the lip glow oil and i got the shade well obviously it's clear but it says cherry oil on here and in a way it smells like cherry to me it kind of smells like a mint like a minty cherry a little bit of mint a little bit of cherry but this one is very very glossy and juicy and it kind of has a tingling I wouldn't say tingling, but it kind of has like a cooling sensation. Like the longer I wear it on the lips, the more I feel that cooling sensation. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I never really heard anyone mention that about these, but this one has that to me. It has that. I don't know. It's very faint though. It's not like overpowering or anything like that. It's very faint, very soft. Like I can feel it, but at the same time, I can barely feel it, you know? But I like it. She's cute, but I really did not see the whole hype in this lip oil. I really don't. Like I don't, <laughs> but she's cute. I guess it's because it's Dior. You guys know a lot of people love Dior, but yeah, she's cute. You know, she's real cute. I like it, but I was actually expecting more from it. Like I was expecting it to be something I've never tried. Like all the lip, you know, everything that I have in front of me, I'd say is very similar to it. Very similar to the Fenty Skin. It's just the Fenty Skin doesn't have that slight sensation on the lips like this one. It feels like Fenty Skin. Obviously it doesn't smell like Fenty Skin, but it does kind of have that minty cherry scent. Like Fenty Skin is cherry. This one is cherry, but it kind of has a mint to it. Maybe I'm the only one that smells that in this, but to me it smells kind of like cherry and mint. Um, but yeah, girl, get Fenty Skin. If you, I mean, these are sold out. Sometimes they restock here and there on, um, on Sephora. Cause I've seen them in and out of stock on Sephora, but if you can get your hands on one of these, um, I'd say get it, try it out for yourself and see if you like it. But she's cute, you know, she's cute. And then, okay. So the last two products I have, they're not advertised as well. Actually this is, yes, it is. All right. Item beauty. You guys know my obsession with this one already. I know you do. Cause I have talked so much about it. I've gone through two. This is my second one actually. So I've gone through one going through this one already. And I know I'm going to repurchase it again, but the next time I repurchase it, I want to get the purple one, which tends to go out of stock. So I'm pretty sure that one is just as good. This one is in the shade. Hey y'all. But when I say this is the best, well, one of the best, <laughs> One of the best lip oils I've tried, and actually I would compare this to some of my top lip glosses. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on that. Cause we're just talking about lip oils today, but we can talk about some lip gloss. So let me know if you guys want me to do like a top lip gloss video that's like for the summertime, you know? Anyway, this stuff right here, this is one of the most juiciest, shiniest, good smelling lip oil, lip oils i've tried let me take this off oh the dior i don't know if you guys oh dang 
already taken it off but it kind of gives a tint to the lips which is kind of weird because it, it's clear um but the longer i have it on i feel like my lips are getting red for some reason but you can kind of see a little stain from it that's weird maybe that's why people are hyping this up because you don't run across lip oils like clear lip oils that kind of give you a tint maybe that's why people love this stuff i don't know but anyway item beauty lip oil y'all i don't know the smell of this just takes me back to when i was younger in either middle school high school it doesn't remind me of Lip Smacker, but it reminds me of a scent that I loved back then. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a nostalgic feeling. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it smells really good. So this is the applicator. It's so, I don't know. It just, oh, I love it. <laughs> I freaking love, love, love it. Look how juicy it is. It's so good. It's so good, y'all. This is one that I always keep in my purse. Even though I have a lot of lip products in my purse, this is one that's always in there. Like always, always, always. That's why I ran through the first one I had. But this is so good. So freaking good. And I definitely wanna get my hands on the purple one after this. So yes, if you're wanting a really, 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 and I, when I say really, I mean really juicy, good smell like i can't even describe the scent of this it's not it's not super fruity but it kind of has like a toned down sweet smell like it kind of in a way smells like perfume with a little bit of fruitness to it i'm not making any sense but it smells really good you have to try it out so i know that they have these like out and so forth like they have the samples sitting out so smell it try it out for yourself and let me know your thoughts on it but definitely one of my favorites um and then the last one i know is not a lip oil but i recently got it and i am obsessed so it's the um it's called the dior addict lip maximizer okay so Tamika, if you are watching, you made me, well, you didn't make me get this, but you told me that if I like this, I would be hooked. So Tamika is um, a follower and I met her in Sephora and I didn't know that she worked in Sephora until she, well, she told me who she was. She told me that she watched my channel and I saw her in there and I told her this is what I, like on my way out, I told her that I got this and she was like, girl, you are going to be hooked. And now I see why I like this gloss. Let me take this off. Let me take it off my lips. But this is very, very good. Very good. And the shade I got is peach. Okay, wait, it doesn't say it on here, but I know it's in the shade peach. I know it is. And it's funny because if you go on so uh, Sephora online, they don't have this color, but if you go in store, you can find it, which is so weird. I would think they would have this color online too. Maybe it's on Dior's website or anywhere else online that they sell Dior, but I know I can't find this color on the Sephora app. But anyway, yeah, this is how it looks. It's called the Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. It has Dior right there. And when you put it on, it literally looks clear on the lips, but if you put enough of it on, you can kind of see like a peachy tint which is really cute, especially for the summertime. So I'm just gonna put her on. This is, hold on. The way this feels, it literally feels like a lip oil, but it doesn't feel as thick as a lip gloss. So that's why I kind of put it in this category of the lip oils because it literally feels like a lip oil, but y'all, it has a really nice cooling sensation on the lips. It doesn't sting. So if you don't like lip plumpers that have that sting, like that, feel like you have needles pricking your lips, you're gonna like this because it feels cold on the lips, but it doesn't feel too cold, but it feels cool on the lips. But yes, love this. And it's not like, I don't know, girl, I can't explain it, but it is one of the best 
lip products I've tried and now I see why Tamika said that as soon as I try this I'm gonna be hooked because I kind of want to get another one like another color so yeah but yes that is all I think that is it I think that's it oh and by the way this has a minty scent to it too I kind of want to make sure that I tell you guys how stuff smells because I know some of you don't like scented products and some of you do so I try to make sure that I give you guys all the details on the products but yeah girl that is it that is all the lip oils that I want to share in today's video again let me know if you want me to do a, another video where I share my favorite summer lip glosses because that's all I've been wearing lip oils lip balms and lip glosses so let me know if you want me to do another video like this I'll probably combine the lip glosses with the lip balms so that way I can just knock it out in one video so let me know comment down below and let me know but that is it girl thank you so much for hanging out and watching me try out some of these lip oils if I tried any out that you have tried out what are your thoughts do you like it do you not like it let's talk about it down below in the comments and also before y'all go let me know of any other lip oils out there that you think I would like. So leave that down there in the comments as well. But that is it, girl. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Again, thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one.